Hey guys, welcome back to the shop for another episode of Shop Talk. So I got my list here and I'm going to go over a couple of the uh, suggested topics that I talk about. I've got a couple picked out there from the first video, matter of fact, and we're going to go over a couple of them. Uh, first off, I'll just tell you that it has been a real busy week for me. Not only me, but everybody at my work. We've been having to uh, work a lot of overtime this week and it's going to continue all week. Today's Wednesday, and I just got home. It's uh, getting close to 7 o'clock, and we just had a lot of work going on. We've got more work coming in, and it looks like we're going to be having to work all weekend. Got a rush job coming in uh, Friday, and it looks like we're going to have to work through the weekend. So it's been real busy for me, but I'm still trying to get the videos out for you. So today the other uh, parking attachment video came out. I wanted to do that because that one, that segment was kind of a little bit shorter and I got another one that's going to come out Saturday where we get to use the uh, rotary table there, turntable. So that will be coming out Saturday. Alright, so anyway let's get to a couple of questions. I want to start off, the, the first one was uh, people have commented on the audio quality using a gimbal mount. So, no, I do not use the external mic when I'm using a gimbal mount. I actually think that the speakers, the audio picks up pretty decent on the, on the Hero 4 cameras without the mic, as long as you're kind of close to the camera. Now, do notice that whenever I flip it around, I believe it's on this side, that the audio seems to get a little bit better. Uh, I believe that's, that's how it is. So, so, no, I don't use an external mic. I just use the... Uh, uh, speakers right there on the on the camera itself on the hero 4 all right so another question that I've had a lot of we're gonna go ahead and cover this and I'm sure it's gonna come up again is the Noga indicator holders that I use this is the one that I use on the regular you know you, you always see me indicate with so this is my Noga book here I'm gonna show you let me pan down all right so this is the one that I use a lot right here. This is the MG10503. Now I believe there's different part numbers attached to that depending on where you buy it from. But if you'll search for that, MG10503, that's this one right here. The fine adjust bottom, by the way. And then you have another one on this page here that will be uh, fine adjust top. And I believe that's the MG61003. But I prefer, I seem to like this one better, the uh, fine adjust on the bottom. Okay, so that's, uh, that's that holder right there. And then another one that I've gotten asked about is this one. This is the one that's got the, uh, I believe that's a 5 16th shank right here. 5 8 or I think that's 5 16 So you can use this in the metal machine, put it in a collet or a drill truck, whatever, and put your indicator and use it to indicate in your mill. That one, let's come over here to this page. All right, that's going to be this guy right here. NF1022. It's that one right there. So I believe it's a 3-8 um, a a stem on it right there. You can get them 8 millimeter, you can get them 3 8 So NF1022 for this guy right here. All right, so that, uh, that is two of my Nogas. I tripped over myself there. That's two of my Noga holders. Uh, by the way, this will be coming up in uh, S&S. This is a couple axles I got to do a little bit of machining on. So that's, I'm, gonna, I'm actually getting ready to start that here just this evening. And uh, hopefully I'll have that in S&S this week. Hopefully I can get that done and, and get you a video made. So another question that I've been asked about is my Coke machine. Let's go up here and I'll show you my Coke machine. I have shown this in a past SNS video. It's one of the earlier SNS videos where Fernando actually helped me uh, get it fixed. There was some wiring issues with it, but yes, it does work. It's hooked up and running. It's got a little bit of a hum to it. That's uh, you can hear the compressor running right now. So it works. Let 
Yeah, I got a, got a couple drinks in there, not very much, but I usually try to stock it full of water, keep a few beers in there, some Cokes for other people. I don't really drink Coke, but um, like that's some stuff my brother put in there. So I usually just try to keep water in there and beer for, for those who like beer. But it comes from my old shop down the road. That was something that my granddad had bought years and years ago. And Coke actually used to come by the shop and swap the bottles out. It's, it's an old bottle machine. And there used to be a rack that sat right next to it. And you, you know, whenever you would drink something, you'd put the empty bottle over in the rack and they would recycle them whenever the Coke people came. So that's, uh, that's the old Coke machine. That's made by, the brand name of this machine is a Cavalier. And it used to be, used to be 10 cent and then dad had changed the coin mechanism to 45 cent or maybe it was like that whenever they bought it i don't know so uh hopefully that hopefully that answers your question on the uh on the coke machine and uh if you have any more that, topics that you'd like me to answer please leave a comment in the uh, comment section below the video and i'm taking notes and i'm going back through the old videos and i'm writing more notes down as to uh, topics people have uh, asked me about. I wanted to say thanks for all the guys that gave me the info on the Peter Wright anvil. Uh, it's still a little bit confusing on how to add the, uh, the weights up, but uh, there was a link that was given and then some more info on it, and, our, and that was pretty cool. I really appreciate that. So I think we're going to go ahead and sign off for now, and hopefully I'll see you this coming Saturday, okay?